We have conducted several hypothesis testing in the past, and today we're going to be concentrating on the special case of matched pair designs, or the pair t-test. Now, in this particular test, it's still going to be a one-sample test, or sa one-sample test for mean, but this time we're using two different samples. And here's an example of a matched pairs design, or a pair t-test design in hypothesis testing. Now for this example, Chelsea hears that listening to Mozart improves students' performance on tests. Now she then assumed that perhaps pleasant odors have a similar effect. So to test this idea, she asked 21 randomly selected BHS students to work a paper and pencil maze while wearing a mask. The mask was either unscented or carried a floral scent. Now the response variable that we are using in this particular experiment will be the average time on three trials. Now, carry out a significance test at 5% significance level on the effectivity of using scented mask in solving the paper and pencil maze using the differences of their time trials. So let's analyze what Chelsea was able to gather after asking 21 students now, to answer the, the data set that Chelsea gathered after asking 21 students to participate in her experiment. Now, in student number one, her average time trials in answering the paper maze was 30.60 seconds this is when she was wearing the unscented mask and then after that particular set she then took another test this time wearing the scented mask and after the three trials the average time that she is able to finish the maze is 37.97 seconds now the difference of those two time trials is negative 7.37. Now let's analyze those differences. Now if you're seeing a negative difference on their particular data set, it means that their time trials was longer for using the scented mask. And in this particular student, the time trial was longer for wearing the scented mask. Now let's analyze, let's say, student number 13. Now, student number 13 has a time trial of 54.47 seconds when he is wearing the unscented mask. And when he was wearing the scented mask, his time trial is then 38.30 seconds. So therefore, the difference between those two trials is 16.17, and it's a positive difference. Now, what is the difference between a negative difference and a positive difference? Now, if you are seeing all the negative differences, it means that their time trial was a little bit longer while wearing the scented mask. And if it's positive, their time trial is now shortened because of that particular mask. So what we're going to test here is the differences or the column on the differences of their time trial. And for our conditions, we need to make sure that the standard normal pl plot or uh, their distribution is normal. And in this particular graph that I'm showing to you right now is what we call as the standard or the normal probability plot. And we know that it's not skewed because almost all the data set is close to that particular line or the diagonal line. So in this normal probability plot, we can say that the distribution is normal using the difference column. And we will use that in our conditions later on. And after finding the mean and the standard deviation of the 21 students for their time trial, we found out that the mean or the average differences for their time trials is 0.9567 seconds with a standard deviation of 12.5479 seconds and this is for the 21 students who participated on the experiment. So now that we are able to organize all the necessary things that we need for the hypothesis testing, let's conduct our hypothesis testing for this match pair design. So for the first step, we need to find the null and alternative hypothesis. And in this particular experiment, our parameter is mu, which is the mean time difference between the scented and unscented mask. And for our null hypothesis, which is mu equal to zero, it means that the differences is equal to zero, which means no improvement occurs while wearing the scented mask or the unscented mask. While the alternative hypothesis we have, mu is greater than zero, which means in our experiment, the positive differences show 
improve time from using the scented mask. So this is how we construct our null and alternative hypothesis for this particular trial. Now for step number two, our conditions, we know that the samples were randomly selected and the trials are also independent. Now from the normal probability plot that we have seen a while ago, it shows a normally distribu distributed distribution so we can say that the sample or the sample for that particular column is normally distributed. Now for step number three, for our test statistic for one sample t-test, we will use t is equal to x bar minus mu all over s all over the square root of n. Now we're using the t distribution because we don't know anything about the population for this particular experiment, giving us 0.9567 minus 0 all over 12.5479 divided by the square root of 21 with a t value of 0 0.349. So this is our test statistic that we will use to compare or to find our p value for this experiment. Now for the null hypothesis, remember that our mu is equal to zero and alternative is mu is greater, greater than zero with t equal to 3.349 and a degrees of freedom of 20. Now the degrees of freedom, we just subtracted one from n. So this is our degrees of freedom for our t statistic. Now for step number four in finding the p-value, we need to find the p-value for t greater than 0.349, which when you use your calculator, normal CDF or uh, your t-table at the back of your book, it will give us 0.3652. So in our conclusion, using our p-value of 0.3652 with a p-value of 0.3652, which is greater than alpha of 0.05, we have strong evidence not to reject the null hypothesis. And therefore, there's no significant difference on the mean time trials between using the scented or scented mask and unscented mask so